These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. And happening today, Phoenix City leaders are expected to discuss what's next after the Department of Justice report on Phoenix Police. The DOJ found Phoenix PD had patterns of discrimination and violated civil rights. The mayor's office says the city council will meet in executive session to get legal advice on the report and discuss their next steps. Our ABC 15 investigators have done extensive reporting on the DOJ report. Find it now on our streaming apps at abc15.com slash investigators. Well, the deadline is approaching for groups for and against abortion to turn in their signatures. Arizona for Abortion Access expects to turn in 800,000 signatures to the Arizona Secretary of State. That's more than double the required amount. If successful, voters in November would decide on a constitutional amendment allowing abortions up to the point of viability, which is around 24 weeks. But the group, it goes too far, is pushing against the potential ballot measure. They believe the language is too vague and could create issues, including medical safety concerns. We're getting new volunteers by the day. People are energized to educate voters on this amendment. Arizonans from across the state have made it clear as we've been in this signature collection process that they want to see this on the ballot. It goes too far, says they're looking out for the health and safety of women, but Arizona for Abortion Access calls it fear mongering. Both groups plan to hold news conferences next Wednesday. Arizona being called out to support kids. The Kids Count report from the Annie E. Casey Foundation revealing Arizona is near the bottom of this at 42nd. This one takes into account family economics, education, health care and more. The local organization Children's Action Alliance says policymakers should see this as a wake up call. We need to really take investing in K through 12 public schools seriously, right? We need to make sure that kids have resources. Um, that help them make sure they have health care. While a lot of this is relying on lawmakers, the organization says there are things parents can do. The biggest be an advocate for your child's education. Arizona's primary election is this July and ABC 15 is giving you a chance to hear directly from the candidates. We're partnering with the Arizona Clean Elections Commission and Arizona Media Association to bring you primary race debates. Tonight at six is the U.S. House District 8 Republican debate. We'll bring it to you live on abc15.com and the ABC 15 app on your favorite streaming device. If you do have questions for the candidates, you can also submit them on azcleanelections.gov slash debates. Over the past few years, the Valley has hosted some major events, including the Super Bowl, the Final Four, and of course, the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Now the city of Phoenix is looking to secure more of those big events in the future. Tomorrow, the council will decide whether to create a sports and events commission. This group would focus on everything from events like the Super Bowl to major tournaments for kids, along with arts and cultural festivals. The city would devote $80,000 a year to fund that commission. Time now for that most active forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. After the first stormy night in the valley, thanks to our monsoon storms that moved in, temperatures are not easing up much and that humidity is still high. There is still a slight chance for storms today too, although today is not looking as active or as promising as yesterday was. Instead, that high 111 with about a 10% chance for storms in the valley. To our west, that high at 112 to 113. And in northern Arizona, better chance for storms today. Highs in the 80s to 90s from Flagstaff to Sedona. Again, Flagstaff Staff seeing about a 60 to 70% chance for storms today, but for the valley, we're talking a 10% chance, and that chance will stay at about 10% through Thursday before a couple of drier days, and then those storm chances are back Sunday and Monday. For the high country, the best chance for storms today, then those storm chances begin to wane a little bit, dropping into the weekend as well. Temperatures in the meantime hitting 110 plus every single day. Not to record levels when it comes to those daytime highs, but those lows could continue to set records a few days as they only cool into the upper 80s to low 90s. We will have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com, or you can download that free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.